The irony of this amendment failing is that the hardships, political marginalization, and economic deprivation experienced by FCT original inhabitants and women across the country will continue. In other words, the natives of the FCT who gave up their ancestral land so that Nigeria could have its so-called center of unity have been rebuffed once again and bluntly told that they are second-class citizens in their own country. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Despite the fact that the proposals put forward fair short, a large number of FCT original inhabitants were ready to accept them as a starting point. If these proposals were approved, Nigeria would have begun to demonstrate its appreciation for what the original inhabitants did for the country by sacrificing their homes and farmlands to house the nation's capital. With this outcome on FCT original inhabitants issue, Lawmakers who voted against the proposals failed to consider the histories, the country's histories, and the sacrificial roles played by FCT original inhabitants. Those who voted against the proposal to create a mayor for the FCT and ensure that an original inhabitant of the FCT is nominated as a minister in the Federal Executive Council are unambiguously enemies of the original inhabitants. Such, legis such legislators have voted to continue the oppression, marginalization, and emasculation of people who. Such, legis such legislators have voted to continue the oppression, marginalization, and emasculation of people who have made monumental commitments to the country's unity, peace, and progress. It is also worth noting that by rejecting the peacefully expressed demise of the FCT original inhabitants, the NAS has unwittingly created the impression that those who pursue peaceful and non-violent means of self-determination will be ignored. This is a very dangerous signal to send in a country like Nigeria, which is already torn apart by strife and separatist agitations. Despite these discouraging results, however, Crasset urges original inhabitants in the FCT not to give up hope. The failure of these proposals to gain traction opens the door to much more comprehensive engagement that will address key issues such as tastelessness and the lack of a robust subnational framework for democratic governance. There is also the possibility of taking the story of the original inhabitants to the international community where pressure can be applied to persuade political atoms to act. In the end, the outcome of the constitutional review votes serves as another reminder of the importance of citizens electing credi credible, purposeful, and empathic leaders to fill all spheres of governance. 